In this video I'm going to show you how to get started in OMSI 2 the bus simulator. From how to choose a map, how to create a profile, choosing the date and time and going through the button, graphics and audio settings to get you out there and get yourself started. Hi there, Steve here, and welcome along to the first video in OMSI 2 for Dummies. So you bought the game and you've got this far, but not sure how to get yourself started. I'm going to show you how to go through some of the basic settings uh, to get yourself ready to move on to the next video, which will be setting up your bus. So the game loads, and here we are at the uh, load screen. First thing you need to do is choose your map. This is done with the options at the top of the screen here, um, where it says current map. As you can see from the scroll down list that I've got, I've got a number of different maps installed. If you buy the basic game, you just get a handful of maps. Um, I do advise watching some of my uh, videos from Bodenham, um, from Chicago, from Epstein, and soon to be coming, if you're watching this uh, shortly after release, is Daytonford County. But to begin with, we'll start with one of the standard um, standard maps so we'll go with uh, Berlin Spandau what you get when you select the map is a bit of information about that map and the routes that are on the map and you get the option of loading the map uh, as a latest state loading it without buses or loading a saved situation I generally always go for load the map without buses it seems to load a bit more stable and a bit easier so we'll select that Next you get across here um, to the personnel profile where you can create a new driver and if you create a new driver you can actually then change that profile from here um, which we'll go ahead and do. So we can call this uh, bus driver. You can choose your age, you can choose the, um, the picture if you wanted to go and open a new picture so it'll do that. It will let you get a picture from your uh, from your computer and you can then get a choice of profiles so if there's a number of different people playing the game on the same PC um, you can actually change the profile there next is changing a date and time now this is quite important or can be quite important if you're playing maps like Bodenham uh, as I've just gone through some of the routes and some of the um, timetables won't be available based on the date and time that you set. A lot of the chrono events that I did in Bodenham uh, are very date, time um, and year specific. So if you're working against those those time scales and I suggest going back and looking at my introduction to Bodenham video it gives you a breakdown of the times, dates, days and years that each route should be active. So you have to choose a date and time based on the route that you're going to uh, play to keep it realistic for those maps. You can, however, choose the current time, the current date, the current year. So if you wanted to do an early morning run, you change the time to 6 a.m. If you wanted to bring the, the year up to a more modern time, you can change it up to 2010, say. And that changes that there. Then we come to the options. So down the bottom here. Now there are a lot of options within OMSI that you can uh, you can choose from basically setting your language. Um, in general, again, you can you can automatically specify it to always use the time and date, the current time and date in here. You can tick or untick collisions with other vehicles and landscapes on or off. Um, I highly recommend uh, not having that on if you're a beginner to the game. In advanced. Um, you can choose whether collisions are between user vehicles and pedestrians. Again, if you want to run over some pedestrians, you can do that. If you're having up difficulty loading the map, um, I'd suggest loading the whole map, so loading all the tiles at the start. It will take longer to load, um, but will run a bit more stable. In graphics options, again, based on the level of the PC that you're playing on, you can set a frame rate. Uh, you can set the number of tiles adjacent to the one you're currently in for it to load. Um, the object distance, so the lower that is, um, the easier it's going to be on your PC. Um, the reflections, you can set the sun glow effect, you can set the map, map complexity, so the amount of things you'll actually see on the map. Um, 
and how much you'll see down side streets etc in advanced graphics um i don't generally adjust anything in here um but you can activate the economy mode so the basic version if the frame rate goes goes below 20 frames per second and deactivate once it goes above 40 just to try and make the game a bit more stable in the sound options um you've got a the master volume stereo effect i've just never worked out how that works you can turn off ai vehicle sounds you can turn off scenery sounds you can adjust the sound count which the only thing i've found that that does is increase the sound from your passengers ai traffic you can adjust how much ai traffic um, that there is in the game again will help with a lower end pc um, how many parked cars there are how many humans there are what the, the fact of passengers at train stations what the schedules are like um, this is where it gets slightly more complicated in the keyboard controls you can go and specify a lot of buttons on your keyboard um, you can basically assign buttons to everything you want to uh, i use the game with a g27 um, and so i have a lot of buttons mapped um, but don't do a lot of this um, a lot of it you can do with a mouse but again depending on how much you want to get yourself involved in the game you can go and assign any button you like for any of these controls the same with the game controller any game controller you've got connected um, will appear here um, i currently don't have my g27 connected um, but the game controllers will appear here um, and then you can go through each of the game controllers, specify the axis, specify the buttons to associate with any of those commands again. Um, so you can make your game controller as realistic as you want. I started out playing this game with an Xbox 360 controller and did absolutely fine. You can play it with a keyboard and a mouse. Um, it won't be as great an experience, but to get yourself going, highly recommend it. One of the glitches you get here with uh, with OMSI is you'll get times when it doesn't respond. Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you will see there are a number of uh, glitchiness uh, or a number of lags when you're playing the game. Even on a reasonably high spec machine that I have, you still get difficulty uh, with the game. The one downside to the game um, is the fact that it doesn't run great. Um, so hopefully this option screen will respond shortly there we go in the add-on section this is showing the add-ons i currently have activated so the official dlc that i've purchased um then we go back to the, the screen so in this first little short video we've gone through the basic settings to get yourself set up and ready um, in the next video i'm going to go through the tutorials um, which will get you on the road and going and then we'll go with a bit more detailed um, bus configuration after that so th there'll be a few videos coming once a week um, on a weekly basis obviously once a week um, for the next few weeks um, to give you enough information to get you going in OMSI and get you enjoying that driving experience I do recommend you go back and check out my videos and subscribe to see uh, more of my attempts around the uh, OMSI world um, plenty of OMSI, OMSI content from me on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday something from a sim on a Saturday something random on a Sunday on the channel like this video if you did subscribe as I say for uh, regular content to come follow me on Twitter follow me on Google Plus to keep up to date with um, my simming um, activities until the next time then thanks for watching